Ohio Center for Broadcasting went to All-American Coral Horse Congress. It runs from October 7th through the 30th, and it's held at the Ohio Expo Center. It attracts more than 650,000 people to the Columbus area, bringing more than $180 million to the Central Ohio economy. All-American Quarter Horse Congress is the world's largest single-breed horse show, receives more than 17,000 horse show entries, and will house more than 8,500 registered All-American Quarter Horses during the three weeks. We ran into Danny Strickland, a new singer just coming out into the world. Name is Denny Strickland. Tell me a little bit about yourself, how like you get into the business and everything. Well, I started a uh, horse showing and uh, after when I was very young and after that I uh, started pursuing the music industry and uh, been doing that for the last three years now. Uh, my mentor was uh, Mr. Marshall Grant, he was the bassist for Johnny Cash and uh, he helped me get my feet wet into the business. And I still have a long ways to go. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs, but I'm stay humble and I'm trying to go forward with it. What do you do like in your free time? Well, I like to, you know, hook up the gooseneck and to the truck and take the horses out and go trail riding every now and then. Put my pistols on, you know, and go up in the hills. Uh, when I get burnt out with the music, yeah, I, I walk away and, and get on my horse and, uh, you know, ride around. and. When I've been on a horse for a while and I'm thinking about my music, and when I'm doing my music, I'm thinking about my horses. I think that pretty much sums it up. Thank you very much. You ain't ever gonna change my ways. We also ran into Jerry Linkhorn with Thermal Imaging. Like, what is all, like, the different collars? Because I see, like, on some of these pictures, there's, like, different collars. So what's, like, the different collars mean in the pictures? Okay, well, we, we, t we set the camera to a certain span, and what we do is... Uh, on horses, we usually go from 20 to 25 degree range. So you see right here is 87 degrees. White would be the hottest, and then red, and then yellow, and so on. So 59 degrees would be the coldest. So what we do is we image the horse based on the outside temperature and the temperature of the horse to get the, the span to where it should be. So basically what you're seeing is the, the dark uh, purple and the purple areas are going to be cold spots, like in this shot that's nerve damage. Um, here's the, this is the actual horse that had the broken cannon bone. So when it's white or red, it's going to be hotter. White would be the hottest. So when there's an injury in a horse, uh, the horse's body is going to produce more blood flow to that area so it can repair itself. So the damage is like when there's something wrong with like a horse or something, the pretty much, what are the colors that are the bad ranges? Most cases it's the white and the red that are going to be the actual problem. Um, what we do is the reason we take 28 photos is because a lot of the horse's leg and feet problem are because of a bad saddle. Alrighty, well that pretty much sums it up. Thank you very much. You. Among many people with booths, we ran into Eric from Rod's Western Palace. We're going to find out how they actually shape cowboy and cowgirls hats. So tell me about how did this whole business come about? Well, cowboys needed to keep the rain off of their faces when they were out herding cattle, so they made cowboy hats. And then um, people, you know, need to show in cowboy hats at the horse shows. When you're shaping, like how did like the steam like affect uh, it? The steam loosens up the hair fibers and the hat, so it makes it pliable. So we can uh, shape the hats in any way we want to. Um, and who came across that like experiment of how that would do that? I do not know that. I think it's a long lost secret. Okay. Um, so is there, does it like... On any hats, it can be pretty much shaped, any shape and form? Most hats can be shaped and formed. I'll let you get back to work because right. you see some customers, so let you go. <laughs>